Hey everyone, welcome to the Tech Channel. Today we have another RTC module. This one is a DS1307. Previously in the channel, I did uh, three tutorials about DS1302. One of them interfacing with Arduino and LCD. The second one was about setting it up with a keypad, then an alarm clock project based on that module. I also did another tutorial about the DS3231. But today we're gonna see the DS1307 with an LCD I2C screen as usual and we're gonna also use an OLED screen. So the DS1307 has the I2C bus too and it's very easy to use. First let's start with the wiring and check some codes to set this module up. So the wiring is very easy, we're gonna use only 4 pins. So first we have the ground. Then VCC I'm gonna power it with the 5 volt from the Arduino. Then as we are using the I2C bus, so I'm using A4 and A5 for it's DA and it's CL. So that's the wiring. It's very simple. I'm gonna plug the Arduino and check the first code. So the first thing you should do is actually upload this code, which is set time. It's, you can find it here. Examples DS1307 RTC set time code. So this code permits you to program the RTC. It uh, programs the RTC automatically with the date and time from your computer, like the time of the compilation of this uh, code. So we're gonna upload it to Arduino, and we're gonna open the serial monitor. So this is it. Tells you the time and date, and now our RTC is programmed to this date and time. So second code you can use is actually another uh, code from the library, another example. Just upload it and open serial monitor. So that's it. That's the date and time of the recording of this video. As you can see. So now it's easy to interface the module and use it with the Arduino. Now we're gonna use it with our LCD I2C screen and we're gonna display the date and time here on different format. You can modify this format if you want. So for the LCD I2C screen, I just modified the wiring a little bit. So here as both devices use the I2C bus, so it's easy. All of them are connected to ground and 5 volt from the Arduino. Then both SDA are connected to A4 and both SCL are connected to A5. Just like the, now the pins are uh, all shared between them. So we're gonna check the first code and see the result. So this is the first LCD code. So here we have like libraries for the LCD and then this one for the RTC. So it has two time and uh, DS1307 and then here's the de declaration of for the I2C screen here we declare like our uh, RTC so here the thing is very simple here we read from the RTC if we have a correct reading we show the hours, minutes and seconds then day, month and year it's very easy and simple to understand the elements are called tm.hour or minute or second, etc. So this is the time. As you can see, it's very simple. Now we pass to our second code, which is this one. So the thing different here is like all the numbers are printed on two digits, like uh, hours and minutes, seconds, day, month, everything is uh, if uh, it has only one digits it adds a zero before 
we're gonna upload it and see so now as you can see everything has like uh, the zero before everything that doesn't have uh, two digits now have uh, two digits if you like this uh, type of format so to print two digits is very simple we test on the number we're gonna print like for example we take the day and to see the day is between like one and nine we print zero before if it's not like it prints uh, normally so now we have the code number three so this code for like our american viewers so this code can print only in 12 hour format and it add like the am or pm and there is like a function to do this so if like the hours are equal to zero because the library of the rtc has a 24 hour format so like if the hour is zero which is the beginning of the day it prints 12 and am after and as like between 0 and 12 it prints am and it's an uh, hour printed like uh, normally and if the hour like is uh, equal to 12 the am changes to pm and if the hours are superior to 12 it removes like the 12 from the hour and it goes back to 1 2 3 4 5 and it prints pm so that's it it's very simple and you can adapt this function to other rtcs and this one doesn't have like the uh, two digits function you can add it after if you want so those are the codes for the lcd now we're gonna check the codes for the oled so this is the wiring for the oled it's very simple too as i said i square c under fast so sda scl vcc ground all of them like are shared so now we're gonna check some code for the OLED so this is the first code for the OLED and it's pretty much straightforward and like it, we have the libraries for the OLED here we add them we replace like the library for the LCD and we declare like the width and the height of the screen you can use it for the other screen like 128 by 64 here we declare our display and our RTC like as usual then we begin our OLED screen so here we read like the time from the RTC module then we print it so here we print like hours minutes and seconds in only one digit and if there are not two digits you can add the other function if you want then we print like the day and the uh, month and the year for this OLED screen so that is simple and basic like a uh, format to print the date and time so the second code is for our uh, US viewers and it has like the same things before it has 12 hour format with AM and PM they are printed over there and then we have the month day and uh, year like as usual so that's for our US viewers and I took the same function from the LCD code you can use it if you want so this is another format and as you can see it's 12 hour format too and you can check like the two points there or uh, replace the uh, seconds and here we have like the month and day then the year like uh, there as you can see small you can just play with the text like uh, size and the cursor where you want to write and you can choose whatever design you want so this is for our us viewers too you can change it to all to like uh, 24 hour formats by just removing the am pm uh, function and let like the display normal so that's it for this module i hope you like it so if you want like check other tutorials for other rtcs and check our channel leave a like and subscribe if you want and see you next time